Welcome back to another Spirit Island video. In this video, we will be playing some more Rush at Six. This time, let's play some Stone. There we go. Now it's many mines that they randomized. But we are going to be, be, be playing Stone here. We have board A randomized, and let's go. Mountain starting explorer. Okay. That is actually our worst explorer. <laughs> so starting off... um. Yes, yeah, so that, that's... Well, actually, I think board A in general is not really a good stone board. And that is because, really, we're going to be relying on that stubborn solidity to give me a defend 3. And I really can't... Um, I only could set that up in jungle. Yeah, because wetlands I can't... Or I guess I could set it up jungle or wetland. But um, mountain, I have a, um, a beast land coming up as well as my Dahan land. The other bad explorer would be a sands... So let's grab a miner here. And we're hoping for like Swarming Wasps. Um, Domesticated is actually the card that is very favorable here. Because now I have a defend. One thing in particular with this card is that it requires buildings. So um, that is something to keep in mind. I actually could do Light Calls like though. I wonder if that is the play instead. Because if I play Light Calls like this turn, I can actually gather everything into my A6. And then I can Stubborn Solidity this land. Is it better than Domesticated? If I do Domesticated, I could Jagged Shards this Tahan into A6, or A1. Domesticated there, kill the town. The difference is, is do, I, do I want to spend one card play to solve it? Or, I guess no matter what, I'm spending two. Okay, we'll go Domesticated. And I want to grow into all four of the land types, so I'm going to grow into my land A5. We'll go with Jagged Shards, and that's it. Let's do our builds and the Explorers. Okay, Jagged Shards. Bring that to Han. Now I wonder if I'm actually supposed to do it here, from A2 into A1. And then I double defend. I think I'm supposed to do that. Like this. I'm here, here, here. I'm going to G3 again. Maybe into my A2. I double defend. Take the Blight here. I'll kill the town. Very tricky on how I grow here. I, usually I grow into jungle. But I want to grow into the coast to prioritize that. Let's get that major first. Oh, there's parallel. Well, this is this is why stone is just one of the best spirits in the game. Uh, I mean, I have an interesting puzzle here, and then I draw literally. Um, actually, all four of these cards are amazing here. Um, Pyro Flow and Paralyzing Fright are like the the go tos. Um, Pyro Flow being a destroy all explorers. One of the big negatives though to Pyro Flow is I have to target from mountain, um, and as you can see. Adjacent lands, I have three adjacent um, lands that are jungle wetland, and that will cause blight if I use pyro flow, but it's a destroy all explorer, so this is like a get out of jail card. Paralyzing Fright, though, is just a skip all. Mists of Oblivion, destroy um, all of, or one damage to each invader, which is nice, this is the weakest card. And then Spill Bitterness is just a ton of damage on elements. Um, really, it's between Paralyzing and Pyro Flow. Debating if I want to do Pyro Flow instead... Like, I could. I could literally just play Pyro Flow here instead of playing um, Stubborn. Like, I can do Pyro and Domesticated, double defend. Oh, but then I have to rush a six. Right. Oh, but yeah, but rush a six is not an issue with this spirit. Okay, let's do Pyro Flow. I think that's the most. I think it's the safest card here. We're going to get rid of Plows. Always get rid of Plows. Let's place our presence from Top Track. I'm going to grow into my A2. So that I can punch back here and we'll rush a six there. Let's get that minor. There's another um, get out of jail card with um, scour the land. It also has that air which is going to be necessary for my pyro flow. So now I can play scour, pyro flow, plus jagged shards in my discard because it has the fire earth and that lets me threshold pyro. So let's go with scour the land. I could see an argument though for voracious growth. 
as that will allow me to heal Blight, and Blight healing is very powerful into this adversary. I think Scour the Land is just too good of a card, though, to pass up. Oh, I guess I need another air, though. I need three air, and that's not enough. Okay, never mind. Let's grab the, um... Let's grab the Voracious Growth. And we're going to be playing Pyro Flow and Domesticated. Pyro Flow here. Killing this Explorer. And I'm going to push it over here into my A1. Domesticated there. It does set me up to get edge cased, but I'm okay with that. Invasor Surge Inland. Oh my gosh, Grim Toll. So good. Um, so this town has to move inland, which is kind of sad. But I do get to Han Defend. So it's really cool is so I can push it one land inland and then um, skip. So now I'm going to get to Han Defend in A6. Grim Toll, I'm going to do two damage in that uh, disease land, but I put a bad lands there. Um, maybe this is just muscle memory going uh, triggering, but yeah, I can do three damage here and I can kill that city. And Han Defend. Now... Han Raid. Wow, I get a, a single point of damage here. I guess we do it here. Pushing that Explorer into my A5. I'm going to cause a rush of 6 into A5. That is okay. Ravage Mountain. That dies. And we're going to push the Explorer. I can either throw it into A5 or A2. Whatever land I throw it into, I'll have to rush a 6 into. I'll take both Blight here and here. I think if I rush a 6 here... This is where I have to do the math. What, 2, 4, 6, 8, 4, 6, 7, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I do it here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 5, 7, 3, 5, 6, 7. There's one left. I'll have two explorers left if I do it here. Do it here. Rush a 6 there. I have to choose. Remember, rush a 6. I didn't blight, so I have to add an explorer town. If I add it here into A5, I'll cause a city build. I already did the math. There'll end up being extra invaders left over. If I do it here, so I'm going to do it on my A2. Explore is jungle. Okay. And this is where I usually reclaim so that my, I'll have my upgraded innate. And I'll be able to punch back here. And I'm probably going to pyro flow into my A8. And I'm okay with that, even though it's going to cause a blight. I just want to stop. Actually, I could... You know, I should probably do that just so that I can stop the city build. And then I am sad if, um, maybe I punch back here in A5. Yeah, no, we definitely reclaim. Presence there. Pyroflow, Jagged Shards. So now I'll have my left innate. If I punch back here, two, four, two, four, six, three, five. that's enough to kill the land. This will Blight and Ravage. I'm okay with that. It's going to Blight again next turn, and now I'll, I'll use that to my advantage. Oh, this is perfect. And then I can punch back. Good. So Pyro Flow here. You get pushed to there. I have to add the Blights. Okay. Building Sprawl. To build in one of these... I uh, first have to add the Wilds. I think I want to add the Wilds into my A4. I'll have to escalate next turn. Oh yeah, and that's, that's another reason why I should grab Pyro Flow is it allows me to um, set up an escalation land and then just nuke all the explorers. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to do A, A4. I think I do it A2. If I do it here on A5, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 5, 7 damage, 3, 5. Yeah, it's not enough here. So I think we do it here. Beast destroy, sure. Sure. Ooh, that's good. Ravage here, pain energy. Oh, right. I don't have... For some reason, I thought I had my... <laughs> my 5 innate here. My 5 earth. Um, but I do not. Um, I believe it's pain energy there. That is uh, why I wanted to do my pyro flow, is in case it was this back-to-back. -back. We'll escalate to here, so... Yeah, so unfortunately, I made a, um, a slight error here with uh, the play that I made, because now both of these lands had three explorers. I probably should have killed some... Ex oh, no, I had to kill the town because I wanted to prevent the source from occurring. Um, that is very unfortunate. I think we threw Dahan, Dahan. And this is where my domesticated actually isn't enough to defend the land. 
and that is because um, there's no explorers or there's no buildings, so I can't target A5. A very common thing. Reclaim here. Presence from top track. I believe I go here into A2. Looking for a better defense. We did not get one, though we did get Dark Entangled, which is still pretty good. I actually could grab Veil. It's very interesting here. Like if I do Dark Entangled... Okay, let's say I do Dark Entangled, Pyro, Stubborn. I 100% go Blighted here. And it's it's a pretty... Br I take three straight Blight. But I think I might win the game. How much fear do we have left? We have one, four, eight. So that's nine fear left. One, two... wonder if I don't even play Pyro. I do Jagged Shards. Because I innate here, defend this, pay for Blight. Oh no, I actually think I'm fine here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 fear. I'm s 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm very close. 9 fear. I actually think I just win right here if I play these cards. And I think I actually don't even go Blighted. Dark Entangled was the exact card. Coast is the hedge case, of course. Stubborn Solidity here. And then I'll have my right innates. We use that here on A2, and I actually think I clear out everything. Putting down roots, stricken, sure. This is actually really sad, because now my <laughs> oh, my A5 is not ravaging. Ah, oh, dang. That is... Oh, I guess I could push the Explorer out with Drive Off the Interlopers. I think I'm supposed to do it here. So I'm pushing that Explorer because I want to trigger Russia 3 and allow that land to Ravage. Isolation? Oh, no, I can actually do that. That's sweet. So Jungle's Ravaging and also lands with 3 Explorers. We'll do here. We're going to push the Explorer to here. I'm going to do this land. I'm going to pay an energy. I lose the Presence. I do have to Cascade into here. I'm going to pay the energy again. But now I can kill some buildings. Kill the Explorer and we'll push that Explorer over here into A5. And then I'm going to pay another energy, and it kills everything. I'm going to push that Explorer. I actually... I'm going to do here first. This. And actually, um, one thing with... When I have to Cascade, if I Cascade into a Beast Land, it'll actually kill the Beast, so something to keep in mind. And we'll push the Explorer into my A1, actually. I know it's... No, actually, no, I should not do that. It's, it'll create sources. I'm going to throw it into A4, though. And we'll push that Explorer into A4 as well. All that dies, and I should win the game. Yep, there it is. So, GG. A very, um... Guess fun game with, uh, Stone. Even, like, the big misplay here, right? Where, um... It ended up... Where did I mess up? It was on... Oh, yes. I, I, I'm trying to figure it out. It was the... I thought I had my right innate here. This is where I wish I had my spirit board. So something maybe... Um, oh, I could do that. Oh, I can go to my forgotten... Look at that. That's really cool. Okay, so this is where I thought I had my five earth tier of the innate. I only had this top tier. And as a result, I wasn't able to fully clear the land out. Um, but I was able to kill the town such that I, uh, I would stop that... Um, that source over here on A8. Luckily, I picked up Dark and Tangled Woods to defend this land. Uh, honestly, it was the perfect card because it gave me two fear. It allowed me to defend this land. And it also... Um, I mean, it, it solved all of my problems here. If I didn't have... Gra if I wasn't able to grab Dark and Tangled, um, I probably would have had to have played Pyro Flow. I would have been Blighted. But um, I would have been in a very um, similar situation where there wouldn't have been much invaders. And I would be able to kill everything. But yeah, I, I think Stone is very strong into this matchup. I have um, at least three videos on the channel showcasing the matchup. And now I have a video on digital also showcasing it.